Welcome to the OC Varsity Softball Dugout Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. This man to my left is Carlos Arias. Um, last week, Carlos, on Friday, it was a day of breaking streaks. Modern day boys and girls uh, in boys baseball, their 22 game win streak was broken. The girls softball team, their 14 game win streak was broken in a little bit of sloppy fashion, huh? Against Orange Lutheran. Yeah, there, there was a little bit of, you know, defensive miscues, but all in all, Orange Lutheran still put nine hits up on against uh, Andy Formby, and she's not a pitcher that gives up nine hits. So they were putting the bat on the ball, keeping the pressure on Modern Day, and that streak had to go bye bye. Yeah, everything has to come to an end. And uh, with more with the Monarchs, we caught up with them earlier. For the past year since I've been here, we've gone back and forth with Orange Lutheran. Um, we win one, they win one. Um, we win two one year, they win. Um, they're definitely one of our biggest rivals. And I think um, if we just learn from it, we'll come back stronger. A game on Wednesday against Rosary, so come out then. I've been working really hard at trying to come back. And uh, like I've just been hitting like every week. and. I've just been really trying to focus on just coming back strong from my injury. It's definitely nice to have a lot of insurance runs, you know, and like our defense has been playing really well. So, like, I know if I give up a run, we always have like an offense to like score more and um, we'll still be in the game. It's nice to know. <laughs> There's no clicks. Everybody gets along. They love practices. They love the games. You know, they're, you almost think they're too loose sometimes, but they, but they're, they, they, uh, figured a way to put it together. Thanks to the Monarchs for uh, some of those interviews. And Carlos, real quick, what are the Monarchs' chances in this loaded Division One playoff tournament coming up? Yeah, you know, it's a loaded Division One, but modern day's loaded. And let's remember they're 14 and one in their last 15 yeah. games. So, you know, it's not like, you know, cry a river for modern day. They're going to be fine. Yeah, rumors of their demise. Uh, not, not, uh, yeah, not, uh. No, modern day's going to be right there in the, in the thick of everything. And speaking of the playoffs, Carlos, uh, they're, they're coming up next week. So this is the final week of league play. Let's start with start out with the Garden Grove League. What do you see over there? Yeah, we got Garden Grove at Rancho Alamitos on Tuesday. That game was originally scheduled for Monday, but rain knocked it out, so it's on Tuesday. Um, keep an eye on San Diego State bound catcher Genevieve Perez um, for Garden Grove. She's one of the top power hitters in the county, hitting 522, seven homers, 34 RBIs. This girl is bad. Yeah, th <laughs> those are some pretty tough numbers right there. What else you got going on? Okay, in uh, also on Tuesday, you got Los Al at Huntington Beach. Okay. Um, that's going to be a really big time game because Los Al can win or lose against anybody because, you know, their pitching's young and a little suspect, but they hit like crazy. Megan Gear on that team has 11 home runs. I love the Sunset League. We were out last week to see a, a classic game between Marina and Edison that ended off on a walk off by uh, Terra Blanca. Yeah, good call, man. That was a good one to be at because lots of action in the Sunset League. Um, then also on Thursday, we have another big game for the league championship. It's Yorba Linda and Pacifica. Um, they're both tied at 8-1 and one in the league. Um, Yorba Linda has uh, Paige Von Sprecken, stud junior pitcher. Um, Pacifica has Kaylee Carlson. She's another top junior pitcher. And then a girl to keep an eye out on is Ohio State bound Rebecca Lee. She's hitting, she's as hot as anybody right now. She's hitting 514 with six homers and 30 RBIs. And that's with Pacifica's schedule. They play everybody. Yes, they do. And they also have the greatest mustachioed coach in the county. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, he, he's got one great yeah. stash. Yes, he does. Friday, we also have another game rescheduled because of the rain on Monday. Uh, Capitol Valley plays at Tribuco Hills. That's for the Seaview League title. Um, those teams are, are, are two of the teams that are like, their record has a lot of losses on it, but they also have some big wins on there. So, I mean, you know, these teams are, are very dangerous. Capitol Valley High School, home of? Los. <laughs> Los Arias himself. He, but he won't be rooting on because he's completely unbiased, am I right? I'm totally unbiased. And because also, Tribuco Hill is one of their assistant coaches, one of my Little League buddies. So there we go, some inside information only on the OC Varsity Softball Dugout Show. One, one last thing. I uh, can't shut you up. I, you can't shut me up about softball. Yeah. Okay, the uh, record watch, we're keeping an eye on Mission Viejo's Alyssa Palomino. Yes. She has 16 home runs. Right. She hit one last week. Okay, great. So the jinx is off finally. The jinx is off. and. You know, she's got a, a couple of league games left and and uh, then the playoffs. So, you know, if Mission makes a deep run, there's more time for her to try to catch Lauren Chamberlain. So if she doesn't break the record, blame this guy. All right, thanks to Carlos Arias for dropping the knowledge. This is the last week before playoffs, so make sure to check out OCVarsity.com for all your latest upcoming playoff information. I'm Jonathan Camus. Check out OCVarsity.com where we've got you covered. Thanks for watching.